Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about motion, displacement, and velocity, displacement time graph. This will be the third quarter topic and learning competency number 7. This lesson is under the Batatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to explain the relationship between the slope of the displacement time graph and an object's velocity The second one is to construct and interpret displacement time graphs using provided data And the third one is to appreciate the usefulness of graphical representation in understanding and describing motion by an Answering the reflection of learning. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the students will describe the motion of a car and answer the following questions. Line graph consists of x and y axis, each representing a distinct variable. In this lesson, one axis will represent values for distance and the other is for the time. Slope describes the steepness of a graph. It shows the change in the y and x coordinates of plotted points in the graph. It is usually represented by the mathematical expression slope of line which is m is equal to the rise over the run wherein the rise is the change in the y coordinates and the run is the change in the x coordinates. Motion of objects can be described using a graph, particularly the speed and velocity can be depicted using a distance versus the time graph or the position versus the time graph. So observe the line graph that shows the motion of a walking person. What can you say about the motion of a walking person? An object's motion can be described by plotting the distance moved by the object against the time it moved. This kind of graph only represents the total distance traveled by a body over the time, but it does not specify the direction. The slope of the graph, it represents the speed. An object's motion can be described by plotting the position of the objects against the time it moves. So the slope of the graph represents the velocity of the object. 